Mitzrayim, which we think of as Egypt, is actually the narrow place. And when it comes to Passover, we're always thinking about how we can escape the narrow places that we find ourselves in and this whole idea of moving from those narrow spaces into freedom. So this year, when we're dealing with being in narrow spaces socially and in narrow spaces physically, it's important to still remember those narrow spaces that we can escape from this time of year that are keeping us confined. What are the things in your mind, not in your home and not in your social life and not in your calendar of what we had planned, but what are the things that are keeping you confined that you have control over and that you can say to yourself, I can get out of this narrow space if I look at it differently and I can see that while it looks like there is a sea in front of me and there is nowhere to go, there is actually a point when that sea will part and I can pass from this narrow space into freedom. What is that for you right now? What is the narrow space that you find yourself in, not just physically, not just socially, that you can find a way to freedom if you just look at it the right way?